Assalamualaikum and a very good day to all viewers out there. Welcome back to my channel. We are going to continue discussing this uh, question earlier on. There was the uh, video that I have already uh, published on this uh, part which is on the um, estimation of allowance uh, of account receivable, the impairment loss of account receivable. And uh, we stop here. Now we're going to continue here with our next session. And that one is not in this, uh, that is related to this question, but we are going to look at how do we advise the management on the allowance for impairment, which is the requirement of the question, this one here. We're going to do this in this session. First is that you need to uh, understand that before you can set up the disclosure notes or the movement of allowance, it's best for you to start doing your journal entries and I'm reproducing the journal entries for what you have done before this and this is for the uh, adjustment on um, allowance for impairment that relates to account receivable that was being written off and also the uh, payment that were received from the customer so this is uh, the, the one related to transaction where you have to uh, record the payment received as well as to write off the uh, bad debts. So you have that uh, f uh, 5,000. So that 5,000 affect your allowance for impairment, right? So when it affect your allowance for impairment, this one, this 5,000 that you have there will have to be reflected here. First, you put the balance and then you like uh, you will going to put your bad debts written off here. If you have any bad debts recovered or recovery of bad debts, that will be added here. But here none. After you have done that, you will uh, compute what is your expected credit loss or the estimation of your uh, allowance for impairment for that year. Here it is nine thousand two. 9,002 because you use the estimation that is based on 4% times the account receivable balance, right? So account receivable balance before the adjustment was 250,000, but there was this uh, bad debts that you write off as well as the receipt of payment that you receive from your customer. So at the end, it is left by 230,000. So 230 times 4%, you have 9,002. And that 9,002 is going to be the last total here, which is the uh, estimation at the end of the year. To know how much is the amount that you need to adjust in your statement of profit or loss, either as an increase or loss in allowance or maybe a decrease or reduction in loss allowance, you are going to compare the total here, which is the running balance here, not the balance brought down, the outstanding balance yeah, before you finish your uh, calculation. So 10,800 and you will compare that with uh, 9,002. So if you compare that with the last balance here or the uh, estimation for the current year, you can see that there was a decrease in the estimation, right? De decrease. Uh, it was 1006. So that 1006 is what you are going to adjust in terms of the journal entry here. Yeah. So 1006 if it's a decrease or reduction. So that reduction or decrease in loss allowance for impairment will be recognized as other income. So this is how you present it. You will check the presentation yourself. And this one is how you need to show or these are the advice that I put in red here, all the red uh, box here representing the advice, okay? So the advice that you are supposed to give in the requirement of question 3D. So that level value is 220,800 and that is recognized in the statement of financial position as follows. So you need to show the net realizable value of account receivable. So the gross amount is 230 and the allowance for impairment based on this amount that were you the one that you calculated at the end of the year using the estimation of allowance for impairment based on the expected credit loss percentage or rate given by the company that is four percent for all receivable right that's it i hope you understand well thank you for watching
I'll see you when I will see you.